Hello Game Gumshoes fans, Chris here with another Game Gumshoes Presents. Uh, I would like to introduce you to a game called Coconuts. Uh, it's a Korean board game, but it's released here in the United States by Mayday Games. Uh, really fun little children's game. Uh, I'm going to cover some of the parts. You can read a review on how much fun it is, but when you watch me play with the parts in this video, you'll understand how much fun this game can be. So, box, pretty simple, not really that special. Uh, you could probably get a better box, but hey, it's good enough. Now, the rules come in Korean, obviously, but I know if you're like me, Chris, I don't read Korean. Guess what? There's you nice know, uh, English rules as well. That way, if you're British or American, you should be able to read this rule uh, book and understand. Now, something I will take a mention, this shows the two four-player version right here, uh, a three-player version right here, this particular set I'm covering is a four-player version. There is also a Coconuts Duo, which is basically made for two players. Um, I'm guessing it has less cups, I don't know. I didn't really get into it. But um, you can also buy the four-pack, four like what I've got, and the two-pack and make it a six-player game. And I imagine if you wanted to, you could put two of the four players and, you know, go on and on and on and on and on. Each player will have a play map. That's a nifty little map. Take note of the little tree stands here. They're important. And this line is also important. Because you have a cute little monkey. Now, this monkey is a nice, sturdy, hard plastic. There are little Phillips head screws in here. So if something should happen to go wrong, there is a potential for you to fix it. Um, now, this is kind of like a slingshot game. If you've played Tiddlywinks, you've probably played a variation, well the original version of what this game basically is. So in it, your monkey has his butt up against his zone. And he's allowed to move it back and forth against the zone. And you can angle your monkey however you need to, so long as he stays behind the line. When I say aim your monkey, this monkey's arms shoot up and down. Now, they won't go down too far because they, they hit the feet right here. And they won't go up too far because they hit the cheeks here. And you see the little monkey it's me. Yeah, he's having fun there. But the monkey is taking the coconuts. Now the coconuts come in a little bag like this. You might think, hey, those look like milk duds. They are not milk duds. Please do not eat them. I have seen people try. There are also variations on these coconuts where they have pink ones and green ones that are kind of a bright green color so they're a little bit easier to spot as a toy and not an actual food stuff. Now, um, the interesting thing about these coconuts is they are a rubberized plastic. They got the little coconut hole. That's probably where they put all the plastic into it. But, you know, it's a nice squishy little plastic. You place it so into the monkey's hands and you shoot it. And you think, well, Chris, what are we shooting the monkey's uh, coconuts into? You're shooting them into yellow and red baskets. Now, like I said, the rule book, it shows the layout, but as a general rule, you're gonna have um, four sets of these, and then two sets of yellows in the center, depending on the, like, the layout. And the object of the game is to shoot your coconuts into these. Now, if you capture one by landing a coconut into it, then you take the coconut, or the basket, you can place it on your playmat, like so. Now, this is going to be a feat. The object of the game is to build a cup pyramid. Once you hit the six cups in your pyramid, you win the game. Now, you might be wondering, why are there red cups? Why are there yellow cups? Well, yellow cup is a basic cup. There are a lot more of the yellow cups than there are red cups in the game. Um, the red cups, if you land your coconut in it, you will get a second shot at another coconut. Now, as you start playing, you start thinking, hey, there's not enough cups on here for anybody to win. That's not true, because you can actually shoot into your opponent's cups. Yeah, you can angle it and shoot it over across the board and land in somebody else's cup, and you steal that cup. Now... We recommend not being uh, evil about things and saying, oh, I got it on the bottom one, I'm going to yank the bottom one out 
If there's a yellow one on top and you made it a yellow one, pull the yellow one out. If the red one is, you know, the one you landed in and it happens to be on the bottom row and there's none on the top, you know, okay, lift the cup up, remove it, place it down a layer. You know, you don't have to be evil. Um, I've seen it done. Now, words of the wise, not only do these coconuts look really, really edible, but they shoot really, really well. And if you're having a fun little game like I did at my host's house when I was in Indianapolis for Gen Con, you will see them shoot across the table, whack a kid in the, in the forehead. Or if they turn their head, then get, get it in the air and stuff like that. They don't hurt. They're not really painful. Uh, just watch, make sure you don't put out an eye or anything like that. Um, another cool thing about these, these cups are nice and sturdy. Now, I don't know if it's actual food grade plastic, but I could see drinking out of these if you got really, really desperate. Now, anyhow, this is Coconuts by Korean Board Games, released here in the United States by Mayday Games. If you get a chance, check it out, read the review, check out some of their other products. Uh, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And have a good day, and um, I'll see you on the next video.